Border Crossing Project is a unique and important project for the community of Mississauga as well as Art Gallery of Mississauga. That is why we are here to find out more about this project. So when we invest in arts, we not only enhance the quality of life for our people, no matter that person's age, their culture, their ethnicity, but, but we're also boosting our economy because the arts generates uh, financial derivatives. Mississauga is a city that shines, and it shines because of the tremendous talent of our local artists, of our people. The AGM right here is one of our most dynamic cultural hubs. So much is going on here all the time that you should experience. It's a leader in progressive and relevant art engagement. Uh, it demonstrated, as it has demonstrated through recent industry awards, and uh, you will hear more about that in the upcoming announcement. The AGM's achievements would not be possible without the community engagement, dedicated volunteers, and the entire team here at the AGM who work tirelessly for us to elevate the quality of life for our world-class city by nurturing and showcasing local talent for all of our residents to enjoy. So as mayor, I'm truly inspired by their unwavering commitment to um, engage and inspire visitors of all ages and all experiences. And I also happen to be a very proud supporter of the AGM and have several pieces on loan in my office. And I think all the councillors do. We take art and we, we borrow it for a period of time to showcase it in our offices. And then we return it and take new pieces and cycle it through. So um, like everybody here today, I look forward to seeing what 2019 has in store for the Mississauga Arts Gallery. And I, I trust it will not disappoint. It's truly really wonderful to be here today. I can agree more with our mayor that we are a shining and moving city, and today's announcement uh, will, will truly reflect is truly reflective of that. Uh, I too have some art pieces in my office. Uh, they are all by local Ontario artists, and so every time I welcome guests uh, to my office at Queens Park, there are beautiful um, uh, paintings and pictures that uh, uh, that show how uh, the <clears throat> how vibrant our um, art uh, community is uh, here in Ontario. So it is with much excitement uh, that I join you here today to celebrate uh, the Art Gallery of Mississauga and its success uh, and to recognize the generous support it has received uh, from the Ontario Trillium Foundation to enrich our community through the arts, culture, and heritage. Uh, we're gathered in one of the most diverse writings in Ontario. And I'm always so proud to say that in my writing, we've counted with my staff and we may be a little bit off, but uh, we're estimating that in my writing of Mississauga Centre, there are over 150 languages spoken. So it is truly a diverse community. We are thankful to the many First Nations, Inuit and Métis, and global Indigenous peoples who call this region home. The AGM is committed to recognizing and incorporating diverse Indigenous perspectives within exhibitions and programming, and highlighting the numerous Indigenous artists who have contributed to this gallery. The AGM is dedicated to providing a platform for contemporary Indigenous art and curatorial practices, and hosts events and programs that reflect various cultural topics and identities. Um, and that's what our Mississauga is. We are a global village where we have languages from every place on this earth. But let's not just keep it as a global village, but let's make it as a place for a global peace also. And what's the best way to start? Start from this gallery. Thank you so much for inviting me. Really appreciate it. And that's uh, Sadaf Zuberi. It's uh, Sharada Aswar who uh, I understand helped conceive this uh, tremendous project, uh, Border Crossings, and we look forward to the unveiling of, uh, of this program over the next few years. But I want to thank our MPP Kusindova, MPP Anand, and the team from the province for being uh, so collaborative, uh, very generous with the amount of funding that has come forward, the Ontario Trillium Foundation, as a member of the Board of Directors for the AGM, I do look out and see our Chair, uh, Madam Chair Penelope Matheson, and Vandana Taksali is not here, but uh, as the Secretary and our Treasurer, Saeed Jafari, all of the work and the commitment that they put forward to improve our AGM. So with the money that will be coming forward and our investing in the improving of the programming, I just want to say a sincere thank you on behalf of the board, uh, council, uh, our mayor, who is so tremendously supportive of the arts, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you. So, namaste, namaskar, sasriyakal, salam alaikum, wanakam. My name is Sharda. 
uh, granddaughter of uh, uh, Sharada Sitaraman and T.G. Sitaraman Ayer, Kaveri Venkateshwaran and Shekaripuram Venkateshwaran Ayer, daughter of Swarnam and S.V. Krishnamurti. As Mandy mentioned, I am the community activator here at the Art Gallery of Mississauga. And when I'm not here, I tell stories, write plays, and sing for my supper. It's, uh, it's a really an honor and a great privilege to be introducing the Border Crossings Project uh, to all of you here today. A project that has uh, consumed my life these past two and a half years. Border Crossings is an interactive, uh, community-engaged arts project, and it is truly a project that belongs to the community. It is, yes, it may have been conceived by me, but the true owners of this project is the diverse and the vibrant communities of Mississauga and beyond. What are your thoughts on the Border Crossing Project? I think it's an extremely important one, particularly for the time that we're in now. Canada more and more is a country of new peoples coming from different parts of the world and each of them is crossing several boundaries of uh, you know history of politics of culture of religion language and so to be able to capture that and create that as a strength of who we are as Mississaugans I think it's really timely and I'm very excited about it. I am the director, the curator here with the Art Gallery of Mississauga. Um, we all support these programs in a variety of ways. We're responsible for our own portfolios, but really um, jump in and support where need be. Um, my, my support is uh, in really in the back process of um, engaging funders, um, engaging those financial supports that are necessary um, to, to support participating artists, um, to provide free materi materials, to ensure that these types of programs are, are free. So I'm the behind the scenes uh, support in ensuring that our doors remain open, that our programs remain free, and as well as to really guide the institution towards a more um, accessible um, and, and inclusive uh, program. The instruments that they need in order to express that, whether it's through pottery bowls or poetry or painting or um, learning live storytelling, um, sharing among other community members, it's like everything that it comes out of this project has been extremely beautiful, very well uh, curated and artistically vibrant. I think it's a very interesting project uh, specifically for here in Mississauga because in Mississauga we all come from somewhere and this project truly uh, encourages us to think about where we've come from, what kind of boundaries we have crossed, not only geographical boundaries but boundaries within ourselves. So it, it's a very interesting project and I look forward to engaging with the community and seeing uh, uh, the results of it. Uh, talking about the border crossing, uh, this uh, Mississauga Art Gallery is uh, partially or fully, I don't know how the funding works, but the, is funded by uh, provincial government. But I always say it's not funded by provincial government, it is funded by your tax dollars. So it's great to be part of this such wonderful occasion uh, where they started this program and I, it was nice to see and meet the actual artist. What a passion they have for the community. It's great to see, you know, many times we think, what is the value of art? The value of art is to those who don't have an art in their life. Ask them, you know, it gives us the strength. It gives us to explore. It gives us to talk about what we think. It gives us a vision. That's the value of art. So it's amazing to see everything coming together. And thank you so much for The Border Crossings Project is an incredibly sensitive and timely project. In, um, in terms of its relationship with uh, the larger institution and specifically with the Art Gallery of Mississauga. It indicates a shift in approach away from a transactional, exclusive model, um, embracing a, a more relational uh, model that 
engages first and foremost with the community to ensure that our larger programs, our more critical programs, are accessible. How was Border Crossing Project born? I was born uh, in India, I was raised there, and uh, my dad had a transferable job. And so every three years we would move from one city to another. And uh, India being such a diverse country, when you cross those borders, it's not just the geographical border you're crossing. The food is different, the culture is different, the language is different, everything was different. And then uh, I moved oceans and you know, and I came here to Canada, and so there was a border crossing that happened even there. And even here, I live in Brampton, but I work in Toronto and Mississauga. And so every single day of my life, I am crossing borders. So uh, when I was thinking of projects that would involve uh, the community, I thought it would be great to map the city of Mississauga, you know, through these border crossing stories, because Mississauga is once again such a diverse city. There are, I believe, uh, uh, close to 13 different languages that get spoken here besides English and French. So for me, that was really interesting and I thought it would be such a great uh, a way to also, uh, you know, connect an institution like the Art Gallery of Mississauga to the, uh, uh, to the community because it is, the institution is a not-for-profit, it's a public uh, gallery, art gallery, and it belongs to the community. And yet there were the, all these challenges about bringing people here to the gallery because they either thought that, uh, you know, art is something very elitist or, you know, like it must be pretty expensive, uh, the entry fee must be expensive and all of that. And so I was looking for these projects and I thought this would be a great way to, you know, like uh, involve the community and so here we are. How is art driving this project basically? So I've known art all my life and in fact that's all I know how to do and uh, so anything that I connect you know uh, uh, that's my go-to tool that's my you know like uh, uh, that's my business card I say hey I'm an artist let's uh, uh, make connections let's let's create art and so uh, art has been the one that has been driving me in all my projects and of course also the Border Crossings project. When we talk about so much passion in this project, where do you see this project in future? Where do I see uh, this project in future? I, I mean like, uh, so we've got received this uh, uh, Trillium Foundation grant for the next three years and uh, my hope is that I'm able to reach each and every one of those 750,000 people who live in Mississauga to share their stories. That is definitely my hope. Uh, into the going forward into the future but my hope is also that more and more uh, people more and more artists uh, you know come up with projects wherein it, it's an interactive project wherein they can uh, connect with uh, uh, connect with the communities here and so through this project uh, in, uh, we are also building a mentorship uh, uh, there is a mentorship tier that happens where uh, along with the lead artists, established artists, there will be emerging local artists who will be working, you know, uh, 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 shoulder to shoulder with these, and they will learn the ropes of community engaged arts to them, so that they can carry it forward. And uh, and I hope by the end of uh, year three, the community takes over because stories don't die; stories continue to li live, and as long as I think there is humanity, border crossing stories will keep happening. And my hope is that at the end of the year three, community organizations like, uh, you know, like the Inc. Movement, the Ca uh, Catholic Cross-Cultural Services, uh, QT BIPOC, uh, Saga, all of these organizations, you know, like they take it upon themselves to collect stories, to, you know, make room for newer stories and newer voices. Thank you all again for taking time out of your busy day. Please do come back and visit with us. Please check our website regularly for up-to-date workshop and other engagement opportunities. Share the word, share the AGM, and come back and visit us. <laughs>